Hey YouTube, my name is Eve the Weave. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'm back. And we in the motherfucking dark room. Hey, we in the motherfucking dark room. Hey, we in the motherfucking dark room. Hey, we in the motherfucking dark room. Remember, I told y'all I wanted to talk about the whole Mike song and Akon thing. And see, I had to follow right up because I'm downloading the Megan Stallion video right now for y'all. So I had to follow up with the whole my son thing because I talked about loyalty in the Megan Thee Stallion video that I'm uploading for y'all right now. So it was only right that I did this right afterwards because my son is talking about loyalty and I wanted y'all to hear this. Now, I'm going to tell y'all which YouTube blogger that I'm getting this from. This is from Mike Larry's page. Mike Larry is with, down with All Access Viral. I love Mike Larry. I fucked with Mike Larry heavy. Like I said, it's only like a couple of people that I be fucking with like that. And when I shout them out, I be fucks with I fucks with them. So I'm going to click on and we're going to listen to this whole Mike song and Akon conversation. And I'm going to break through it and I'm going to stop and we're going to talk about this shit. We're going to break this shit down like a motherfucking shotgun. So here we go. Let's listen. I agree with you. I definitely respect you as, a, as an individual. No, 1,000%. I respect the work you've been doing, you know, and you got some of my, my, my favorite songs that, you know, that I probably, you know, I don't know if you remember, or if you know even Gabby told you when you first did the Locked Up song, Gabby, because Gabby's from my hood. Right. You know, and um, Gabby reached out to me when I was locked up. I was in Sing Sing. And Gabby was like, yo, I want you to get on this song. Like, I don't know. I don't know if you, you know Akon's I right here. I was, you know, I was already in my bid probably like two years by that time. And he had sent me the beat and everything. I actually wrote, I actually wrote to it. And it was try, I was trying to send it out, but I couldn't record it inside the cell. So I tried to do it over the phone. And then like probably a couple of weeks later, you had already had styles on it. Because he wanted, he wanted me to do it and he was going to try to present it to you. So... Now, it definitely was possible because we was all working from different angles at that time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But no... Everything though, my son, I appreciate you, man. I appreciate your your opinion. I think mm -hmm. what we in a lot of ways is always times communication. Cause you know, when you when, when people are, are having conversations, it's one thing. But when they're hearing conversations, everybody interpret interpret conversation different. You know what I'm saying? And I think there's a difference in cultures and not all that, but it's a big difference in generation. And I think what a lot of generation is missing is people like myself, like yourself but not from a critiquing standpoint, but more from an information standpoint. Because what I started to realize is I got back, right? Because I was in Africa for the last seven years, I think. I got, you know, I was, I was moving, I was away from music. I was more working on the Afro beat scene on that side, you know, mentoring kids over there, giving them, the, you know, the tools they need to kind of, you know, get the Afro beat scene moving. And when I came back, the hip hop scene was totally different. The, the, the morale, of the kids here was totally different. The sound of it was totally different. And I realized that my generation music or my generation hip hop was slowly like diversifying into business, right? And stepping a little bit away from the, from the music side of it. But this generation had attached themselves to something far more greater than we ever had. And that was digital platforms. And I think a lot that's happening. And I think me and you have plenty of time to discuss it throughout this whole time that we got, because like I told you, once I was available for you, I'm going to give you all the time you need, so that way that, both it's, it's clear. You feel me? That, 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 that is beautiful, and I appreciate that, man. And uh, that, that brings me to, to, to one of my main issues. When you say morale, right? What is, does that mean, morality of music? Does it just, the, the energy is different? Because for me, right, I think the issue is for me, when I listen to you, on, on numerous interviews. I didn't just listen to one, you know, I heard I heard the interview you did with now which who I now know is your sister. I heard the interview that you um that you did on the the show. They actually reached out to me. I was supposed to do an interview with them today, but I was running around. I'm actually in Kentucky. Wait, before we start this, let me say arrest the cops that killed Breonna Taylor. You know, I just make Bad. sure we understand nah. I'm in Kentucky right now. We're planning planning major action, so I just want to make sure even though we have a conversations about hip hop and all, that's pretty much the most important thing in my life right now is getting justice for Breonna Taylor. So I just wanted to make sure I stated that off the rip. But um, 
you know, so I watched all of these interviews that you had. And and for me, it, it seems as if you've made a conscious decision to abandon integrity and morality for business. Or you 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 are you are you okay? You made that's what this what it sounds like. You saying you you, you it depends on the person hearing it and what okay. their or what their uh, translation of those words mean. So now, just so you know, I've always played from the moment I walked in. I played the neutral position. I don't play either side. I don't. What is say Dottie and his crew was innocent or guilty? I don't say Takashi was innocent or guilty. Right. So you, my side. I really because when you you ought to because you 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 made a decision that what he did is okay based on what you saying they did. So you you've already if you if you saying you don't play either side and you say yo but they did this and that and they did this so fuck that I'm gonna do this. So that means that you made a decision that you believe that they did something wrong to him and he's justified. So you took a side. See that that's just the part. It wasn't a matter of who did right or who did wrong. It was the principle of the whole action in itself. All right, prime example. But even if no, it was, I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm going to get, get I'm going to let you finish, but you have to be clear. If you're saying the action in itself, that means that you believe that the action that they did was wrong. What action in itself? You say the action in itself. I, if you're saying when, that you that what they did when, is wrong, then you've when, taken a... Or his, or his, or his, um, his co-defendants. Say that There's again? Two, there's two actions here. You got okay. Takashi's action, and then you got his co-defendant's actions. Okay. Which, which action are you talking about? Uh, first, because they're going to both be a topic. Okay, so tell me which action you would like to speak about first. The action I was talking about was in general. We was cause well, you can't say in general. There, there has to be an action. It, yeah, so... You just... You gave me two different actions. So it, when you say in general, with, what... No, what I'm saying is it has to start with a general conversation, right? Once you have that general conversation, then there's partitions of the conversation that we have to break it down one by one. Once we break it all down, then you will understand exactly my point. You follow what I'm saying? Okay. Because any so-called real nigga or real gangster for that matter will understand exactly what I'm talking about. So let's say hypothetically, this is the situation. Let me give you a scenario and let's start with that scenario. Okay. Why is Takashi so important right now? Do you think that this situation is depends. so... Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, the thing is, when you talk, I, I, I can't hear you when, you when when I'm talking at the same time, so I'm, I'm, I'm just going to stop and let, allow you to say something. So you just asked the question, so I was trying to respond to the question. You said, why is okay. Takashi... Why is Takashi so important? And I said, I don't believe he is. You have to ask certain people. And I think you'll get different answers from certain people. Some people don't think he's important at all. I, 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 would, I would disagree with that because the numbers say opposite. And I think this is probably the most talked about situation in music history when it comes to hip hop music. And I'm, I was just curious to understand why Takashi and not any other rapper that's been in a situation like this. Can, can, you, can you name another rapper that's been in a situation like this? I mean, we all been in conflicts. We all been in shootouts. We all been in robberies. We've been. We all been in crime-related incidents. And me naming other rappers that's been in specific situations like Takashi ain't really my place to say that. But what I would like to say though is, if Takashi is the conversation right now, there has to be a reason why it's so potent and why it's so important and why everybody's so emotional about it, right? So, in your I can respect everything you said, and you are right. Because you came from a generation that lived by that exact code that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. I get it. And I'm with you. I promise you on everything God knows, all I know is I'm with you when you say the things you said in the way you believe it. Now me, I've grown since that time that I sat and wore the shoes you're wearing today. And what I realized is that it's a bigger, bigger picture than just telling or what we call snitching mm -hmm. when you look at six nine and you might disagree when i tell you this i feel that 
he's being victimized right now. Right? And the reason why I say that is we're expecting him to understand codes that he never lived under. We're expecting him to live by a code that he never ever was a part of in the first place. We're expecting him to understand the rules of engagement in the streets when he's not a street guy. We're expecting him to follow all the rules of the things that the people around him should have brought to his attention or should have taught him before he got into it. Now, clearly, he's an entertainer. He gonna say all kind of reckless shit. He's doing it right now, right? But what entertainer you know ain't gonna do that? 50 Cent did that same shit Takashi doing 10 years ago. But see, that, right? that's, that, as far as I'm talking about being antagonizing. Can I say something? But I want, and I hear what you're saying. I don't, because I don't want to cut. I don't want to cut you off because it, it lags in and out. But there are a couple of things that I would like to respond to. First, 50 Cent was actually a street nigga. 50 no. Cent was. No, listen no. what I'm. No. Me, You've been giving examples, right? And I've been mm -hmm. listening to examples about people that did what he's doing, and you and you, and you compare him, like you say, yo, like you was talking about gang culture. You say gang culture is gonna attract gang people. You know, when game came out, he was for gangbangers. Game was game was a gangbanger. When Snoop right. came, for gang, right. he the gangbanger. You said right, when, but, when NWA, right, let me just say, let, let right, me finish. Right, right, just on that part. And the reason why I understand you and I know why you feel like that, because you're a rapper yourself and you are also a street nigga. We all know, I know your history, my nigga. You're a real street nigga. You done did your time, you did what you had to do. And you lived and you took hip hop from a standpoint of your real life situations. Hip hop was not only a vehicle for you, but it was a lifestyle to you. So I know why you feel that way. This generation, this hip hop ain't no lifestyle for them, bro. They don't know about half the shit. Most of the people that's talking street ain't never been in the street. Most of them ain't real street niggas. So we can't categorize them to be one. But that's that's what I'm trying to explain to you, right? If you go outside, right, and you right. take a gun in the bank, and, and you say, and you ain't a bank robber, mm -hmm. right? You're right. going to jail, a car. They don't give yeah. a fuck. They don't listen to what I tell you. Look, I'm not going to ask you, yo, are you really a bank robber? Like, who did you learn how to rob banks? You get, you, it's the same rules apply. If you jump into, if you jump, listen to me, if you, if you can't fight, right? And right. you jump in the ring with a nigga who can fight real good, and you throw on right. gloves, he going to beat the shit out of you. Nobody is. <laughs> Nobody's gonna say, yo, how many lot have you practiced? Are you really a boxer? What I'm trying to explain to you, you this man jumped into a field, right? And mm -hmm. he did he did all the shit that the real gangster niggas do. They call, they call you out, they say, I'm gonna come to your block, I'm gonna do this to you, I'm gonna do that. He called out everybody, he told niggas to suck his dick. He said, when men sat him down respectfully and said, Yo, brother, you bugging out. You, I watched the interview. Charlemagne said, "Yo, you gonna die or go to jail, beloved? Like you putting yourself in." Real, and he said, "Fuck that! I'm street. I'm this nigga. I'm gonna handle this, and I'm gonna do this." He had niggas shooting, keep keeping these niggas. These niggas is body. They catching bodies in Chicago. They not playing. He going to Chicago in the middle of the street. He not only putting his life in jeopardy. He put everybody who went with him, and they knew he was. But they, and this is what this is for me, right? When they say that they was. These people stood and protected him against real street niggas that they know probably would have took their life and stood up beside of that man. Bro, stood. if they, they was protecting him, Bullet. but what I'm saying is if they was protecting him, first of all, he wouldn't have got that close to the street. Real street niggas know the fucking, they, they know the, nigga, they know the consequences of what that is. So if you're protecting him, you ain't gonna have him that close to the street, period. And the part I think, honestly, that I think the world is missing in specific this conversation is that this is entertainment in real life we're not going to rob no bank because we know we're gonna goddamn be caught yep. we're hey. no no hold on i'll let you talk now i ain't stopping when you said the bank robber thing you're right but that's in real life bro this is fake this is entertainment this is not real we are in the music business you can't you can't can i ask you a question but this is what I'm saying. This is inter nigga. We in here to make money, get rich, and die. We're not in here to get killed early before we get to the bag. Who does real things on real life and social media on TV for everybody to see? Who does? Okay, I'ma stop it right fucking there. Acon, Mason is telling you he got on live and was ordering hits on live on real niggas. 
He was pulling real nigga moves. Takashi is fucking grown, my nigga. He knew exactly what he was getting himself into. If y'all can see my son face, yo, that's a real king right there, B. That's a real general right there. Like, what the fuck is Akon talking about? And then you gonna say, who gonna get on social media and be doing all that shit? This is what we are trying to fucking say. Stupid. That's dumb. That's that, my son. What I'm trying to explain to you, right? I just... Because <laughs> to me, like... So listen to me. If Based on what you're saying, right? Takashi should have been able to go to the judge... And said, no, none of this shit is real. No, 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 listen. You said, listen to what I'm saying. You tell me. No, 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 I'll let you talk. I just want to know. Based on what you said, Con, to, to go to the judge and say, hey, this is all entertainment. We didn't really shoot at them people. None of this shit that I'm being locked up for that you're trying to give me 40 or 50 years, none of that shit ever really happened. This entertainment for the cameras, for social media. Did that shit work with the judge? Did the judge, did, did, did him say that he was entertaining somebody, stop people from getting, when, did he, you know, he didn't, when he sat on that jail, that cell, and you know, and another thing is, that man told on people that they have shit to do with it. Like, it was, he was saying, yo, Cardi B, you know, Cardi B does this, and yeah, Jim Jones. Like, this man bought niggas that never even really talked to him in the streets. <laughs> never yeah. seen like this. Listen, niggas. that. Now, Akon is sitting up here laughing, but what the fuck is you laughing at? That shit is not fucking funny. It's nothing funny about him getting on the stand and talking about people that never even came across him. None of that is funny, Akon. Why the fuck is you laughing so motherfucking hard? Because you think that shit is funny. Listen, I, I agree with you. I agree with you. But this is the thing. Takashi ain't never denied that he was a snitch. He owned up to the fact that he was a snitch. He ain't denied. He said... Well, listen, you got my point. Con, you got my point, right? So... Right. I don't, I don't even talk about Takai. I haven't, when he first came, I knew I knew he was going to do this when it first happened. And I, cause I, I, I've been in the streets. I know a real nigga. I knew he wasn't going to stand up. So cool. I said it. I said, I told you I left it alone. He came home. I didn't respond. I was angry. The only time I respond, Akon, was when Nicki Minaj did a song with him. And then you let this man remake one of my favorite songs, stand a stand up nigga song, not not just any song. I I would I would have been mad at you because I I respect you on a different level. I seen I seen you as one of me. You understand what I'm saying? It was like me seeing my homeboy walking around with Alpo, like a nigga that I fuck with in Harlem walking around with Alpo. I'm not I don't really give a fuck about Alpo. I said he a snitch. I'm done with him. I don't really care about him, and I'm not trying to run around. I'm. I'm not angry at you. You a snitch. You've been categorized as you are. Whether you move around, cool. Do that shit with the, the, the creeps. But listen to me. Let me finish. Let me finish. But when it's somebody that I respect, somebody that I've seen, like you said, you on the same shit that I am, you can't be on the same shit that I am because there's no way on God. I don't give a fuck how much money they offered me. I don't give a fuck how much entertainment they are. There's no way God's green earth that I would ever allow Takashi 69 to do anything with me. Anything. I wouldn't on him if he was on fire. Those are words from a street nigga. And I respect that. Right? As a nigga that was a nigga. Real nigga. Listen to me. Niggas that ain't in the streets that never been there, but they just know integrity. It's not about streets, it's integrity. The man lacks integrity. You see this? It's character is currency. The man lacks character. Listen, we follow the same code. I believe in character is currency. But I don't yo, listen to me at this point. I'm listening. Yeah, but I, wait, I don't want to leave. Same code. I don't, we, I'm not saying, I'm not, not to, not to d- d- diminish you. We can't follow the same code because the code I live by, I can't do nothing with that man. All right, but that's fine. That's you. It's okay. 
way we don't follow the same code. I'm just trying to clarify that. Because there's no way I can't do nothing with it. My son, explain something to you. This code that everybody talk about, that only maybe 1% of niggas out in the streets actually follow, don't mean shit to me. But I'm not oh, a, oh, is, you said that we follow code. But let's, let's be clear, though. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. All right. I fuck, yes, in fucked up situations, been through some fucked up, you know, you know, scenarios, might have, might have done crimes here and there to, to survive and feed my family, but I'm not a street nigga, my nigga. Now, yeah. I'm going to defend myself if a nigga try me a certain kind of way, but that's just me being a man defending myself. That's what that. people call street nigga and this code that's attached, it's all bullshit. What I'm trying to say is, as a man with real integrity, there's going to be things that you follow as a person. And I think when people start trying to categorize the street, that and this, this is just what you categorize themselves in as far as what the environment they came from. So when you try to tag that on somebody that didn't come up like that or tag that on somebody that don't understand that until they're around people that do, it's not his fault for being misled. That's okay. all I'm trying to and, and 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 I hear what you're saying, right? This is this is what I'm trying to say. You saying that this code that's I'm no longer a street nigga either. I I I've been out the streets for years. I'm, I, I I did seven years in prison. I came home. I've changed my life around. I'm a I'm a civil rights activist. I'm an anti-violence. I work with young kids in the street. And and, and this is a this is another thing that I want you to understand. Not only is is he a rat, he's just bad for the culture in general. Like oh, so. So let me just say, let me just in a culture like see, oh, this, oh, oh, let me real quick, real quick real quick see the introduction to the culture was wrong he came in through the wrong side with the wrong information and this is what all the generation is going through bro and guess what he ain't gonna be the first or the last can i say something can i say it's this one people and people that understand what this is to give them that because half of them didn't have nobody to give them that Come i on. came up with ogs that make understand how this shit works uh, can i say can I say Good. something? To you? I just because you you cut me off. I, I I let you talk. You you not let me get my so I just want to get two points of course, right? You You're saying right. that this this thing that's attached, this code that's attached to the streets. I I'm no longer streets. I have a code of ethics and integrity as a man. I have a right. moral purpose as a man. My Absolutely. moral purpose is if I do something, I want to be held accountable, and if, and I'm gonna deal with my uh, I'm gonna be I accountable. Me as a man, that it has nothing to do with streets, and, and I know a bunch of people that has never done the street shit in their life, but that's how they live their life, right? So, right. what? I, that's that's one, right? So, I, I, to me, it's a code of conduct as a man that that man, his moral compass does not agree with mine, right? So, what what I also want to say is when we was talking about, you know, this man just came home from prison, where he was facing a bunch of time. Mm -hmm. was crying, say he owned his family, he told on that, you did all of that shit, right, to come back with the same attitude. Your moral compass and what you represent totally goes against who I am as a man. Right. If on the money, there's no amount of fame, I don't give a fuck how many streams you got, I don't want nothing to do with that individual as a man because my moral compass and my kids is watching me. I don't want this person around my kids. I don't want my wife. I don't want nobody that I respect and love to see me attach myself to somebody of that low caliber. Right. So it has to do with street nigga. Right. So with that being said, you're right. His behavior today, it could be a little bit more sensitive, but he's defending himself from everybody attacking him too, bro. You gotta you gotta understand that part. So it ain't just because he's doing all this because I mean, he is being attacked, and he ain't no punk. He gon' fight back. But no, he is. See, that's what your car. We, we confused him. The punk. He ain't gonna fight back. Cause if he was gonna fight back, he would have fought the case. Con. He didn't fight the case. He ain't listen, gonna fight back. He but didn't do fight. You know, uh, but do you know all? But do you know all that was attached to this case, though? What? Tell me. Tell me what I'm missing. Did you know that this man was kidnapped by them same niggas that's supposed to protect him? No, listen to me. No, no. These, these. This man that, was. That, that, nigga, they tried. So listen, yeah, you know how many niggas I know that was kidnapped in the streets? That's part of the streets. But, but what I'm saying is, you have, see, 
Everything you're saying, I agree with you up until the point. There's a point where their street code don't exist. You keep taking... Oh, I already told you. I go by man code. There's a point. There's a point where loyalty no longer exists. If I'm riding... No, no. Just understand me, right? And what I'm doing right now, just to be very clear, I'm playing the devil's advocate because nobody seems to want to have that conversation or the hard side of both sides for us to think it out, talk it through. Because if one person says something in, in, in defense or some somebody says something in, in credit of someone else, they naturally, like, my, my integrity as a man, as a person, I don't need other people to validate who and what I am, right? But at the end of the day, if I see that there's unbalanced information, I may say some things you may not quite agree with, but that don't make it my character as a person and as a man. I'm just saying is, what if this situation or scenario ended this way and you was in it? Would you make the same decision knowing all the characteristics? I wouldn't. Listen to what I'm... Let me explain this. Now, so now, me, okay, no, say it and then... Say it, then let me give you a scenario and then you tell me if that's going to be the same answer you give me. That's right. I'm in the, I was in the streets, right? Mm-hmm. When I got locked up, I got locked up for a crime I didn't do. Right. But crimes. I probably got locked up and I probably knew the person who did it. Right. But the reality of what comes with the streets, right, is the days that I got away for the shit that, you know, that I ran away and I got away, they probably locked somebody up for the same crime I did. Right? Somebody probably got I, they got away. I got away a couple of times. They snatched the nigga the wrong. That comes with the street game, right? You can't right. profit off you can't profit off a lifestyle and a reality. And then when it's time for the consequences, you don't want to deal with those consequences. And I agree with you. I agree. Man, and that's what I'm trying to tell you. So me, whatever came with me, I didn't I didn't go and say, yo, this person did this. I took my time like a man. I went to trial. I knew what was going on. And I took my time and I sat down like a man. And I came at the peak of my career when I was about to be the fucking next biggest thing. I sat down and did my time like a man. Never blamed nobody. Never, never cried. I did what I was supposed to do because I understand that's what comes with this shit. Right, but you a street nigga. You understand that? Me a street? No, you know. Listen, no. before no, 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 no. Before the word street nigga came, Carl, it was just being a real nigga. I don't know no street nigga. Okay, I was just now, now. Now let me give you a scenario. You come up with a pack of niggas, right? Y'all all got this bond and this agreement that y'all gonna hold each other down. One for all, all for one. That's the model. No matter what, nigga gonna go off guns blazing that's what it is okay and it's just a general scenario i don't want to i want to blame the cops okay now y'all all together y'all agree amongst each other that we're gonna commit this crime mm-hmm. y'all commit the crime yeah in the mix of committing crimes you in the scenario are now betrayed by the same people you had bonds with okay try to kill you y'all all get caught now you're sitting in front of this jails the cops are asking you listen we've been following you we know what's going on and this is the situation you got two options you can save yourself from the guys that's trying to kill you or you can save the guys that's trying to kill you and eventually die anyway mm-hmm. what are you gonna choose I'm gonna choose that I the cops gotta do their job and I'm gonna fight my case. No, no. In this case, they already have all the information. That and then that means that they gotta do their job. If they got the information, if they got the information, they don't need all that. See? They don't need right. me, huh? They don't need me if they got the information. What they need me for? In this, in this case, right? Uh-huh. They have, and you even have the information. Cause they didn't kidnap you and tried to kill you. Okay. Now, from a street nigga standpoint. No, from a real. I don't want to be a street nigga, Con. Uh, no, no, no. Are you, I'm I'm, 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 from a real standpoint. Oh. I, I, don't, I speak for real niggas. I don't speak for street niggas. I speak oh. for real worldwide. No, I, listen, we, we understand that part. What I'm trying to tell you. I've never been to jail. They've never been in the streets, and they believe exactly what I believe. All right. And the reason why I ask that question uh-huh. is because. Same code that we all follow. Always make that same decision you just made. 
But the part that people forget when they make that decision is that they got a whole nother family that they alienate. No, no, family, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, let me finish. The let me family, get to that. that. The son that, that needs to be raised by him. The daughter that never wait, uh, grows up without a father. This is all the other things that happen that people do not they take into account. They so worried about being a real nigga that the real responsibility should be the decision you make for your family. Mm -hmm. Not for them niggas. That's cool. But your, family, your blood gotta be worth more than some shit that y'all just following of a code that nobody fucking follow. Okay, so can I ask you a question? Absolutely. So why, why didn't nobody think about their family until they were sitting in the room getting off of town? Because you was doing this. No, 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 listen to No, 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 listen. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Real no. niggas think about their family. The real niggas I know, they made a... No, no, listen to what I'm saying. I want you to get this. No, no, no. Real niggas do three times life in jail, my nigga. Oh, but, it but, but real niggas... And, and, and that's good. You know, I, I know a bunch of real niggas that's doing three times life. I know some of them that came home, gave it back. But what I'm saying is... The real niggas did an act, right? And they made a conscious decision. I know what comes with this act. I'm going to die, I'm going to go to jail. And I'm going and and I'm to try to live it up until those days come. And whatever comes with what I've done as a man, I'm going to live with that. That's just being a man. So don't tell me about your kid. Don't tell me about... It's like a nigga... Look, Carl, listen to me. Look, this is what happens. Carl, listen. And, like, so, and so when we talk about Takashi, he had to choose them or his family. He chose his family. No, no, that's not what he had to choose. He had to but choose. The only choice he had in front of him. They was all going to do double life. What I'm trying to explain to you. Kidnapped by the same nigga supposed to protect you and they trying to kill you? And you wouldn't make Can a I decision in the family? Explain to you is this, right? I've been, I've been locked up. I know a lot of niggas in jail. Right. If you giving me information that I already got, you can't get out of jail in a year. All right? The information that you given to the police has to be pertinent to this investigation for them to move it's forward. One it's, it's, they're not asking you some shit that they already know about, man. They asking you shit that only you can give information to to seal this case. So when wow. you say you're going to jail anyway, that's not that's not factual at all. That is no. a lie. No, but we're, that's that's not what we're debating here. That's obviously if they got you sitting there questioning you. They clearly got something to question you about because they got to have something to question you about. In this case, he's they got the evidence in front of him. It's sitting right there. But that's what I'm trying to tell you. If they got the evidence in front of them, then they don't need you. They're not giving... If a nigga tell me you, you're going to do 40 years, car, I've been in jail. I, look, I know a bunch of niggas. In, if the police come... If the, if, the, if, the police, if the police come to you and they mm -hmm. saying you go for 40 years, right? We already got all the information. We know all of this. You can do 40 years... Or you could tell us and get one year in jail. You know what that means? Not what we're talking about here. What you're talking about? Hold on. There's two. Okay. That's 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 not what we're talking about. So what are you talking? Okay. What okay. you're talking about? Oh, that we came up under. I get that, nigga. We know what that oh, is. No, no, no. no. Is it, is it, you keep saying we came up under the niggas. Bro, it's, it's different, that's, my nigga. There's it's a, a bunch. Of, nah, no, it's, it's a bunch. Listen, up. it's a bunch. It's a you live by the code. You keep saying we came up. The, it's a code of ethics and manhood. It's not. It's not just us. It's a bunch of young niggas that still feel the same way. We. I'm not gonna allow. I'm not gonna allow. See, this is what this is what my problem is with you. But before you go there, even if you say there's a ethic of code of manhood, these young boys ain't have no man there to give them that. That's what I'm trying to tell you, Carl. And that's why what you do. But that's why what you doing is dangerous because you're. No, give no, them what, that. It ain't you, dangerous. If it anything, is, no, 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 you, what you, no, 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 no,
let me let me explain something to you, right? What you're doing is dangerous. It's like this. It's like with the OGs, the old the old gang banging niggas, right? That's in the hood giving niggas guns, right? They like, well, they gonna shoot anyway. They don't. I don't go by the same code that I live by. I'm just gonna give them a gun because, hey, what they shooting anyway? You saying that you don't need to correct the action? You know it's again. What do you mean? That's what you telling me, hey? You telling me that you don't need to correct? Oh, that's what you're saying. You you you, you know. You know, listen to me, you know that this man went against everything that manhood represents for us. You know he did that. And you still not... No, but he, but the point is he's not denying that he did it. It's one thing no. if he's... A, he's not denying that he did it. My he's, 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 like it makes... Not my only is he... No, he's not denying it because he's trying to tell you that he, you're that, supposed to do it. He wouldn't, have, he wouldn't have been caught up in that situation in the first place. Uh, and what no, I'm he, in it. I'm trying to prevent it for future you, generations. With it. Ben, he's doing the same shit. Carl, he's doing the same. He he got the same. I, ment- you ain't preventing I, nothing. Oh, I might sign. You act like somebody that young is gonna change overnight, my nigga. We gotta have oh, in this night. generation. You listen to me. This man had a. You can't expect uh, to understand the feel and run the way you run overnight. He wasn't uh, built overnight. Oh, uh, uh, him like that. Guess uh, what? Piece of yeah. work. Nobody's not going to deny that. That nigga's a piece of work and mad reckless. Yes, I know that. I can deal uh, with niggas like I've done with kids with, like him before. Uh, that man went to jail and was facing almost 50 years in jail and should have been humbled. And that man came home on the same bullshit. The I same bullshit. Because he never had role model, my nigga. He never had no OG next to him. Oh, he never had He just had to He just got out. And then, right. That man was in jail for a year, facing 40 years. Niggas wanted to kill him. He realized he wasn't built like this. He's, they still probably got money on his head right now. He got to right. walk around with federal agents that got bulletproof head gear on. Like, right. if, 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 that, if that don't change you, my nigga, you ain't going to change. You, he hasn't changed. You try to do something that makes sense. But how, but how do you know he hasn't changed, though? What? Cause you see it, he has this been up every day. I'm that man done, has done, done change. What you're and seeing is entertainment, bro. Well, it's not entertainment. You yeah, listen to what I'm trying to say. Yo, Carl, let, let me. This is what this is what the world has come to now. It's online. It's social media. Everybody Instagram, like nigga, you already know that half the lives that everybody show on IG is all and, fake. Niggas is dying. Line, Carl. Niggas are getting shot in the head online. They shoot niggas, these niggas is holding the camera while they shoot you in the face. But that's so exactly you? you just proved my point. If you just proved my point, though. You just proved my point. So if we don't stand in front of this, guess what? That shit gonna continue. You're not standing in front of it. What you doing is post you co-sign you're co-signing a rat, a nigga who had no oral comment. That's that what always, you do. Listen, you go on the you going on a tour to co- you're yeah, going on you're going on a tour you're going on a tour right now you're going on a tour I'm telling I'm catching it's okay of what had already happened my conversation is healing him to the future it ain't dealing with him with what he did in the past we ain't gonna get nowhere by saying oh that was fucked up you snitch he knows that no, shit no but the thing is no 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 but that's not what you're doing Con. you're going on and you're explaining why he snitched and why it makes sense oh you what I'm you're, saying you, 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 went on, you, went on, you went off at least three different platforms and said, oh, it don't matter. He did this. He's doing this. It don't matter. He, these people did this. And you try, you're you trying to justify why that man snitched. You did Bro. it three times. You try to give reasoning. You try to say it made sense for him to do it. And you try to say, oh, he needs, you know, we need to understand it's, it's a different game. And you're, you're trying, you, what you're doing is trying to make the public accept this as normal behavior. And that's not okay with me. You trying to normalize it? You trying to say eighty percent? Eighty percent of niggas snitch. That 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 number right there is. is my I, son. I think I don't. I think eighty is a lot of niggas but, in jail, but I don't think it's eighty. I don't think it's eighty. I know. My, my, and I, let me say something too. Another thing you said. I know a lot of kingpins. I, point. I know a For, bunch of kingpins. Oh, uh, I'm not justifying anything. Whoa. No, no, listen, I'm not the kind of nigga that's going to sit here and agree to everybody's decision or everybody's opinion. I'm the kind of nigga to challenge your your, your 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 position. 
Right now, 90% of the people, hold on, 90% of the people, when you talk about this Takashi situation, they all have the same reaction. Oh, that nigga's a snitch. That nigga's a snitch. And when I have, hold on, no, it's true. Because he said it himself. He's not denying it. He even made a mascot saying, nigga, I'm a snitch. I'm a rat. So he's, he's accepted the fact that he's a rat, right? Now, what I'm trying to say is, how many people are going to challenge the position that he was in without being scrutinized to feel that they less street or less real? That's number one. I don't need nobody's validation for my realism of who I am as a person. This is what I stand for, and I'm going to fight with it all the way to the end. Now, with him specifically, I know what he told me, and I know what I heard. And at the end of the day, like, oh, I know niggas on both sides. And I'm telling you right now, in a situation like that, he should have never been put there. That's all I'm saying. Well, and then, put there. Oh, you, you keep putting put yeah, put his in that position, period. That's the only thing to keep his ass in that situation. He's going to be in, he's going to be uh, reckless, fuck shit. That's what entertainers do. That's but not, you know, listen to me, what? listen to you. Before I went to jail, right? Right. All the funny and murder niggas, these is my men. So all of them, you know, X and all of BMO, not Pistol, because Pistol was already locked up. But the, the right. rest of the set murder niggas is from my hood. These was the niggas that I was with every day. And they right. was prepared to put in work every time. I didn't but go what, be, what, this that's, that's, that's my point right there. That's exactly my point. Why do the niggas around us got to be prepared you, to put in work but, when the niggas listen, around us are supposed to prevent the work from being put in in the first but, place? What I'm trying to tell you is this. They didn't, they never, we went everywhere, right? They never created no drama for me, right? Because I never created no drama for them. They was there to make these for my niggas. They was they was prepared for anything. When you look at Takashi Six Nine situation, that man picked beef with every nigga that was dangerous. Yeah, every because he that's his character. He's a fucking villain. This is entertainment. He don't get up to every skin that he can. That's the role he plays. On how you entertainment and you playing with a nigga that ain't playing? You can't what? play with a nigga that ain't playing. I've never, nigga, this, I ain't never been this entertained in my life. This is why no. I'm so close. It is entertaining to me. No, this shit ain't entertaining. Yo, yo, listen to me. That man go, that man, that man listen to me. Carl, standing next to that man, you can fuck around and lose your life. If I'm you not, walk, guess you, what? Walk, you might accidentally get a bullet or something that's meant for that man. Right, that man, it. everybody in the world. My, my, he, got, he got, he got, he got, he's a, the man is a target. He's a target, right? He right. got beef with that he don't even know, Khan, that want to kill him. It's niggas that just want to be the nigga that said they did something to Takashi. Uh, and then why? <laughs> but, but, not, but, but that's what I'm saying. What is the value in that? Just doing something to him? No, yeah. but that's what I'm saying. What you still saying, Khan. Like, the bottom the line, it's not about his value. What I'm trying to tell you is if you can't fact, pay... Hold on, prime example. The fact that he would even have beef with people he don't even know yet. Like, why would there be beef there if we don't even know each other? Your pants said he went to jail. What the like, about <laughs> Yo, hey, Carl, did you go to jail? Was it entertaining when you was in jail? Hell no. That's what I'm trying to tell you. The nigga went to jail. And he put yeah. other niggas to jail. Oh. Where's the entertainment, Carl? Hip-hop was built on people going back and forth with each other. Kidnapped. He got kidnapped. Carl, they and fucked his girl. They was threatening to kill her. Where was the entertainment? His own crew tried to kill him. Don't forget that part. But you gotta. You know, so at what point, at what do you, point does the code apply? Can I ask you a question? Do you know what happened? Because I know I know a lot of different shit. So what happened with with this, right? You say it's whole crew. Right? So what happens is this, right? I'm a street nigga, right? You bring me off the street. You know I got I got connections. You know niggas don't fuck with you because of me. So you run around. You use my scrim. I'm out here. I got my niggas busted guns. We running up in here. We standing. We beefing with niggas that we actually know. Listen. Fuck with until all Let me niggas, you know, niggas was fucking with him on a different so, level. Street niggas got around him. That's when all the problems began. Before nobody street, was fucking with him. Before, before, niggas before, the, come out. This, before the street niggas was surrounded by him, he was doing fine in the Latin world, making fucking Latin what? music. Now, Bro, but, the man came up the one song he came out with that all the blood niggas was in. What Latin world he was in? Nigga, you knew something. He did before he did the song with all the bloods. You know a song about? I never heard of him. So you don't know? You don't know that Takashi does Latin music either? No, I'm just trying to tell you. That's what I'm trying to tell you. We didn't care. Nobody gave a fuck about him doing Latin music, huh? Nigga, one of his biggest markets too. Like, see, that's what I'm saying. 
What I'm saying is, so, so you say that so still niggas surrounded him. So what I'm saying is, the problems are brought to the industry. The industry don't bring problems. You bring the problems to the industry. The people around you is supposed to shelter you from that shit. You know how many street niggas I was surrounded by, my nigga? That shit ain't come to me, because they made sure that I was sheltered from that shit. Now, if it came directly to me, obviously I had to do what I had to do to defend myself, but the job was to keep that shit as far away from me as possible. Con, listen, Con, you get, Con, you didn't, you didn't go out there trying to create beef. You didn't put, you knew you had real niggas, and you didn't because put that, people in jeopardy. Because that wasn't my image, but this is his image. Image? What are you talking, where, where the fuck is that an image at? What are you talking about? <laughs> It's, that's some corny shit. Cloud, it's cloud work. It's cloud shit. It ain't no image. What are you talking about? An image, bro. That's an image. Fifty that's cent lip. Image. In the heartbeat. In the world, the man put his uh, head on Chief Keef on the uh, in, in the street on camera on live. Like, yeah, but what image is that? Are you fucking kidding me? What I'm saying is that's today's hip hop. Unfortunately, no, that's what... only him. It ain't no Social other niggas. Social media create. So guess Who what? The other, who now, else is doing that, Carl? Now, if you and I or somebody like us don't step in front of it, I don't listen. If 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 me stepping in front of Takashi right and, now to make sure uh, it's here, uh, hold on, hold on. If, hold on, hold on, if me standing, say, in front, let, hold on. let me let me just one thing, one thing, one thing. I'm gonna let you finish, please, please. Hold on, hold on, no, 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 I promise you, I'm gonna let you go. If me standing in front of Takashi to give him the knowledge that he has to have. And for whatever reason, I get hit with a straight. Guess what? That's God's will. But I know I'm doing the right thing by making sure he gets the information he needs. Listen to That's me. Also, let me let me tell you how it looks, Carl. It looks right. like. No matter how it look. No, but I want you. I, but I want you to be. Because, because I don't want you. No, I hear what you. Look, I know that what I'm Can doing I? is for the will of Allah to make sure that he gets the information that he needs. Because he ain't never been given that information. Okay, can I tell you two things? Okay, if you if you try to be a mentor to him, right? Okay, let's say you try to be a mentor. The first thing you're doing wrong is justify what he already did. That's the I'm first not, thing. No, no, listen. Let me, let me all, tell you something. All I'm Ron, doing is... You all I'm doing... Ron, you all I'm doing is... It's not all I'm doing is giving the chain of command to Takashi. Ron, that's all I'm doing. Is giving, I'm, all I'm doing is giving the challenging questions and answering the challenging remarks that nobody out here, for some reason, ain't got the heart to come out and say there's no, no, it's not that. It's, it's all the real, all the so called street niggas want to keep it real when they know at the end they have these niggas that they was in that situation where they did the fucking same thing. Con, what I'm trying to say is this people just don't agree with you, Con. And it's we cool. Just, so, this is what I'm trying to tell you. So, it's not that niggas is not cute. They just don't agree. I'm just right. saying this. If you're being a mentor to them, you're doing a bad job. Because as a mentor, you're supposed to say, <laughs> you're doing a very bad job. I just want you to get that. Right. Because. <laughs> because he's doing the same corny shit, right? He's so still got, when yeah. you when you when you go to Nipsey's block because niggas say because you saying niggas is dead and all this shit, and then you go to Nipsey's block knowing Nip don't fuck with you and you out there, you inviting real beef because it's niggas that's gonna kill will kill about Nip. You know that. Me and you know as street niggas, they will kill about Nip. I agree. I agree. I I, I agree. So uh, now, can we uh, can we understand we, that no, that we'll do it a lot. My, you know, my nigga, we agree with so much. The only part we don't agree with. Uh, so let me tell you what my issue is. If we agree with a, right, that means that you made a decision that how the bag that he gonna help you get is worth about, more. My you God, have, I don't need money right now. No, I, it doesn't. But it doesn't matter. It's not that you need it. It's money. Do you, you think? You, I'm, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Do you think as dangerous as you say it is to be next to him, I would yeah. risk my own for money? So what are you doing it for, Tom? What are you doing it for? You, completely. I told you why I was doing this. For what? Okay. First of all, Takashi has a network of hundreds of millions of young generation kids of today. Okay. Half of them think just like him. Half of them ain't had nobody that can give them that information. So guess what? If they don't get the information, they're going to move completely lost. Now, mind you, I got kids his age. I got kids his age. They can't move in a society that thinks that everything that Takashi is doing is cool. Because it's not, my nigga. It's not cool. Right? These are the conversations we have, but as I said again, you can't change nobody overnight. All you can do is influence him to change. 
Now, I won't know if all the work I'm putting in right now is going to be fruitful. But what I do know is I will spark a change in him that's going to be totally different from what everybody's seeing in the day. That's okay. for sure. So what I'm saying is this, and that's what I'm trying to say. If that's your goal, right, then going on every platform saying that Takashi snitched and a bunch of other niggas snitched, 80% of niggas snitched, justify... Oh, the truth! Okay, but this is what I'm trying to say. So what, when you say that, what are, what are you saying it to say? Are you saying it's okay? It's okay because 80% of the niggas... So what are you... Why do you bring it... Why, why do you bring it up? Okay, I brought it up because that's a scenario that most people that's locked up has all been in. And they decided to choose their family over the cell. So, what, so, what, are you, so are you saying that it makes sense? Hey, if you decide you want to get into the street game or be active... Right? Yeah. Do it by yourself, my nigga. You don't... Ain't real niggas gonna be running around doing capers with supporters? If that shit go down, you can't put your life in somebody else's hands. If you gonna go there, you gotta have 100% foot in. You can't have half foot out, one foot in, one foot out. Nigga, you gotta go all the way. And you gotta accept everything that comes with it, including the old co-defendant or whoever you rocking with to snitch on you. If you gonna, boot, if you gonna do it all the way in, you gotta do that shit by yourself. But if you don't have the courage to do it by yourself, you gotta accept everything that come with it. You can't blame it on it because he told. That's your fault because you allowed that loose end to be there, and you know better than anybody in the street. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. In the code, no, hold on. In the code, in the street, in the code that we live by, my nigga. If there's something that happens and the caper was killed and the caper was actually a duck, or there was a lick that we actually accepted, we ain't losing. We ain't leaving no loose ends, my nigga. It's not happening. We just not. Well, listen, we got to start. We got to start separating this because we've already we've already established that we don't live by the same code. We've already you you said that you said that because I would never do anything with Takashi. So the fact that you would with Takashi means we live by completely totally different codes. It just no that, that that's that's un, that's that's not that's not true. That just what? means that we agree about Takashi. No, it does not. It's a code. Listen to me. That's what. It, listen to me. That the code. Listen to me. Once you snitch, once you, know, code, I, once you, you, snitch, once you, know you are you are alienated. That's the code I live by. Once you snitch, you no longer in. You are no. You You probably hanging around snitches right now. Don't even know. That I know of. Once I'm aware that you a snitch, you can't be in my direct circle. I can't. I don't want nothing to do with you. Are you active right now? No. Are you committing any crimes? Not at all. Are you doing anything illegal? Nothing illegal. Not one. So why does it matter if you got a snitch around you? Who gives a fuck, nigga? What are you no. gonna, he gonna tell? Because he gonna tell? He gonna tell on you? He gonna tell? Let me get Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, let me tell you. Now listen. If you're out of this game, but you're still hanging around people in the game, and you're super close to niggas active, and they decide to engage with him. That's they fault, because they already know that you tell them. So why put yourself in that situation? These niggas knew he wasn't built to, to, to withstand still or all that information. If they didn't, then they, 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 they failed to do their due diligence on who they can felt I, they could do get around. Okay, so can I ask yeah. you a question? So so can I, this, you just, as a street nigga, your instincts will let you know off top if I can move a certain kind of way with certain kind of people. But real niggas ain't doing nobody. Ain't that, they're not utilizing nobody when they're doing something. They're gonna do it by their lonely, and you will never know it even happened. The day you decide to go find supporters, that's the day you're gonna be locked up for life. Okay, so this is this is what I want to ask, right? Is right. If you snitch on somebody, right? That means that you. That means you steal from me. That means that you lie. You might do something to my wife. That means. You're not a person that's trustworthy. It means that you don't. You have a low moral caliber, right? I don't want that type of person around me at all, because I know that I you're do. weak. I know. I know that. I know that. Given the opportunity yeah. to just having you in my circumference, your everything, weakness, your weakness could put my life and my family's life in jeopardy. But everything you just said, I with that because it's not about the streets. It's about your morality. You have a low morality, right? And that's. <laughs> Moral comp. Yeah, we debating. That's fair. Now, you said if a nigga was snitch, they're still from you. Yeah. Correct? 
His co-defendants did that. Mm-hmm. They'll fuck your wife. Yeah. Right? His co-defendant fucked his baby mama. Mm-hmm. And you can trust a nigga. Right? Yeah, I don't want you around me. Let me finish. All three of the principles you just mentioned was done to Takashi. Okay. Right? Are you? They didn't snitch, though. But they did all the things that claimed was done to him. Yeah, and but- Right. Hold on. Oh. So, with that being said, yeah. where does this ethic of code lie? At what point does it have any but, kind of... Listen to me. Let me... This is the simplest way I could say it, Carl. Well, not, not for them. It's for you. It's no, your... I'm, listen, I'm I, trying to tell you. So, when I, what I'm trying to tell you, if, when I don't snitch, right, mm-hmm. it's not because I have a loyalty to you. It's because I have integrity for me. It has but nothing... Not- do with integrity though does no, no it, let me explain why i say that let me explain why i say that it has me, everything to do with integrity let me explain why did i say that and i don't mean in general i'm talking about to someone like me and you why because we're no longer active so who gives a fuck but that not, but you keep well, I, that's why i keep i'm trying to explain to you it's not about street shit it's about these are man codes that i live in. it's not about street shit then what else could they be telling about? What else could they be snitching about? I'm trying to tell you, that's what I'm trying to explain to you. It's a man code that I live by. It has nothing to do with whether it's street. This just happened to be a street situation. You understand what I'm saying? If me and my man that go to work, right, and mm-hmm. he, he comes in late and he and he um punches in late, and the boss right. comes to me and say, yo, who punched in late? I don't know nothing about that. Well, what do you mean? So, so me now, the, now, oh, this so a, now, a, a job, nigga. Me and my man. And, and they right. say, yo, one of y'all gonna get fired because I know one of y'all punched in late. I'm like, yo, listen, I don't know nothing about that. Right. You gotta find that out. That, I don't know. I, because that's just the morals that I have. I'm, it don't got nothing to do with gang or street. It's just a certain ethical code. It's, I need to know that people in my circumference have a level of morality. And my right. integrity my integrity needs to be attacked. My, right. my work, man, when people speak about me, see, for me, character is currency. It's not just when I say that. I, my character is no. my currency. I never been re- oh, we go re- Let me say one thing real quick. The reason why I survived, I've survived. Let me, let me, no, no, no. The only, the only moral code that I live by mm-hmm. is feed my family. The only thing moral about a man doing the right thing is making sure his family is safe, they're well fed, and they got a roof over their head. Nothing else matters. Period. So that's the moral compass, the manhood morale that you're talking about. He said all activists, all of us are active. And most of our greatest leaders was taken down by agents, niggas that was weak. They wasn't they wasn't in the street doing shit. They was taking when you look at the shit with Fred Hampton, he was taking it's niggas that be weak. And these niggas are dangerous. It's because they, they have a their moral fiber is fucked up. You talk no. about a nigga. Because it has nothing to do with morality. It's a, it's a, it's it has nothing to do with the street. When you're in the courtroom saying, yeah, and, and Cardi B. Cardi B, no, that's, You're in the courtroom that's, saying Cardi B's the blood. Yeah, Cardi B. And she ain't got shit to do with the case, my nigga. You have no morality. What I, the fuck? It got to do with your case. Listen, that part me and you already agreed to was wrong. We are, I get that. Listen, but what, no, listen, I, what I'm saying is. You keep saying the part we agree to all the parts was wrong. It's no part that we really don't agree was wrong. You just trying to give me a way that it makes sense, and none of the no, shit. No, 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 no. Uh, you can't make truth make sense. Truth is the truth. It's sense already, right? That's so. A- what you, I'm giving you, is the information that nobody's talking about. If you have to choose, it is about that. If you have to choose between your family and the niggas we, that oh, kidnap kill you, who? who Choose. Forget the street code, all of that shit. Who would you choose? But that's what I'm trying to tell you. You chose your oh. family. Look, when you if you gotta choose, can you let me in? Okay. And the people can you let me in? You never let me just trying to. I've been, uh, code, you, I, who would you choose? Uh, I've been trying to answer that question for an hour. Every time you say that, right? It shouldn't take you but two seconds to answer no. that. <laughs> No, no, because that's that's you not like you because it's deeper than what you just saying, right? Listen to me. When a nigga, oh, listen, listen to me. So look, when a nigga go out, right, and he hustling, right, and he in the street, right? What he said? I was trying to feed my family, right? Right. 
Okay, so every time he get away from the Lord, he comes and he get that money, he profits off this shit trying to feed his family, right? You're trying to feed your family. So now, when it don't work out right, you got the same story, the same exact thing. <laughs> he still be feeding his family. It should never change, because guess what? The key word he just said... Come on, is, the key word, the key, you're trying to feed your family, you would have you picked, picked a better way, because you no, understand... But that, your family. No. The only thing that comes with peace is jail or prison. I mean, death. You no, can't I, make a decision that you're trying to feed your family, and then when you get caught, no, my nigga. You, if you was no. trying to feed your family, you would have got a different job. Get a different my, job. To make sure I, you I, own with. I tell you, niggas, you when you death in prison, who gonna be feeding your family? You leading who me to my. But you leading me to my next point. You're 100 percent correct. If you're on the streets feeding your family, and then you take your profit. To go back in the streets to feed your family, well, while you're thinking you're feeding your family, you're actually putting your family in jeopardy. Because if your ass go to jail for years, who's there to feed your family? Nobody, right? And so my point is, the streets should always be temporary. That's number one. Number two, at the end of the day, no matter what scenarios you fall into, what situation you go into, your only loyalty and advent should always go to who? Your family. That's it. Your family's the only possibility at the end. I'm going to tell you some real so, shit. Let me tell you, shit, my mother, my mother okay. don't respect the rat. If I went home, if I told on a nigga, right? If I told on my, yo, chump. Because this is the part that I think everybody needs to get out of this whole conversation. At the end of the day, no matter what scenarios you get caught into, what situation or penitentiary chances you're taking, it should only and always be only for your family. That's the only responsibility that a moral compass that should be lying to the man is making sure his family is safe and they're living. Li- what you need to do, tell you, you need to do is get a job at Walmart. You need to get a job at Walmart. You need what? to work at FedEx. You need, to get a driver. you need to get signed up for the school test because the streets ain't for you. Bro. That's the point. You can't, you can't be in that field talking about it for your family. He knows the streets ain't for him. The world knows the streets ain't for him. That's what you mean. He tells you that the streets ain't for him. We know the streets ain't for him. So guess what? You- Huh? But this one for you, Khan. You you still trying to? I don't think I, <laughs> the world knows this. What I'm trying to tell you is you should have did that before you told on them people, because those people was really in the streets. No, that's something that you anticipate before the action happens. He don't know the streets ain't for him until he gets in a situation. I, uh, what are you talking about? I knew. Listen to me. I knew. Oh, listen to me. What is this? You got teenagers out here, right? That's scamming. That's out here robbing. They don't know the consequence of that until they get caught. If they knew the consequences before they got caught or what it really is, they're not going to do it. They got to get hit or they got to feel that fire before they realize that shit is real hot. I'm going to tell you some real shit, right? Because I love you. Con, I love you. I'm, like, I, I, listen, I really love you, man, right? Like, I love you. I appreciate you, Con. But you, bro, you listen, listen, Con, right now, you looking bro, crazy. Con, this, is why I got, listen, this is why I got on your platform so we can have a conversation. Con, you, Con, you, well, as to everything we're saying, the only piece that I think that you can work on is understanding, uh, understanding the knowledge that they raise. And we got to give them that information, bro, because guess what? Takashi has too much influence for niggas not to, to give them that information. Somebody got to talk to know better. You look, you looking crazy right now. Carl. You're looking crazy. The fact that you I'm, wouldn't. Do, I'm just you, telling you, bro, she listen to me. I'm telling you as a, a, I'm trying to tell you right now. To the, not just the streets, just to the whole hip hop culture. You looking, right. you look I, crazy. You co signed. I, I, you, I, you, I don't mind looking crazy if it's gonna save you. That's happening. If you don't mind, it's cool. But I don't mind. Because my, my, my role in this is bigger than what it's way, it's, 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 it's kind of beyond the average mind of how they think. Me, I know what influence is, and I know how powerful influence can be. And if you give influence in the, in the hands of the wrong person with the wrong information, bro, everybody... But, you, you, but this is what I'm saying, Bill Khan. So let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you what, what mentorship would have been. Mentorship would have been the man came home from prison, right? You don't you don't give a nigga a song, right, that when he, when he already don't even represent what that song represents. You sit the nigga down and say, let me talk to you. Let me talk, let me tell you what mentorship. You'd be like, yo, you want this song from me? Right? You want to get on this song? Then your, your life better reflect a certain way. You got to show some change. 
You gotta have, start having good conversations. Start going to these motherfucking detention centers and talking to these kids and telling them how to stay out of jail. I want right. you to get on every day and have real conversations and say, yo, I made a mistake. I thought I was this and I really wasn't. I want you, that's when, when you mentor on a nigga. But you right. sitting there with the music to still talk the same dumb shit he talking about. I'm a rat and this and that and antagonize a nigga and make it seem like you co-sign the bullshit. You are not helping that, man. No, no, but what I'm saying is your message don't help me do my job. Because guess what? He has been on house arrest since he got out. His he wants to go to the facility. He's been on house arrest since he got out. So what I'm saying is it's time and patience. It's going to take time to get all. It's not. The same guy that you think he is because you haven't spoke to him. You haven't been in the same room to have a one-on-one -on -one like me and you haven't. So the world doesn't know what's going on in his head. They just assuming according to all the context and comments that's on, on social media. And social media is fueling all of this because it's so much bigger than what y'all think this is. I'm telling you, this man influences hundreds of millions of kids, bro. He cannot go out there and make it seem like it's cool. <laughs> you are because no one is doing it and you as a grown man that's supposed to live by a code and you co-signing this bullshit and they thinking this shit is cool that you could go in the streets and you could call hits and you could get niggas locked up and you could come home and say fuck the world I'm a rat and I'm, and I'm gonna be co-signed by a nigga who said I'm locked up that, that spoke for street niggas and that's what you teaching them you teaching these kids that, huh? you're doing a disservice to the culture man alright <laughs> <You're doing a disservice. laughs> yeah I love you my nigga, my nigga. But this is what I try to tell you. See, one thing about leaders, they don't have the time to explain the bigger picture. My son, if you don't see the bigger picture in this, I don't know how to explain it to you. I don't. I see the the picture that you paint is fucked. This is right. Die what, I'm, it's die. what I'm saying is this. I already anticipated all the backlash before I walked into this. I knew this was going to happen. Okay. I'm Ooh, because guess what? When there's emotions that spark up, that means it's something worth talking about. When there's emotions that spark up, that means this is something that really means something to people. They really take this seriously, right? Which is great. And I needed to know, at the end of the day, how invested that we are in our own communities. Because when you have somebody like Six... ...has that much influence in our younger generation, with the mind state that he has right now and how he was taught to think that that's what that is, and we just will let that slide and nobody corrects him? And you saying, but you're not bitch, hold on, you, you, hold on, hold on, hold on, let me finish, let me finish. And you saying because he snitched, he doesn't have the right to that information that he has to have? It's crazy to me. But Con, you're not giving him, yo, you just empowering, you ain't giving him information. There's a lot of OG niggas that you pull them to this have conversation. I Six nine is already empowered. This motherfucker has over two hundred million fans. You don't empower somebody like that. He always has. He already has the yep. power. All you I'm trying to manage that power to make sure it goes in the right direction, my nigga. What you're saying is this is sad, haven't you? You sound like these little young internet niggas now.